What's up? All right, well, searched around on YouTube and didn't find a lot of videos on um, washing a satin finish or a matte finish. So the car behind me, I'm going to go step by step on how I wash my satin finish on this vehicle. It's a 65 Impala um, that I painted with Eastwood Satin Black. It's a single stage paint. So um, some things you have to do when washing a satin vehicle, and we'll go over them. Number one is you have to use a matte soap. This is matte auto wash by um, Satin Matte Finish by Chemical Guys. Doesn't take a lot of this stuff um, to wash that entire large vehicle. Um, so another pointer is, as you don't know if you can tell, but it's uh, overcast outside. Um, the surface of the car needs to be cool. So during the summer, wash it early in the morning or late in the evening. Um, it's September 1st and it feels great outside and it's overcast. Um, if you wash a satin or matte car when the surface is hot, you're going to get a lot of water spots. Um, and it's just kind of a waste of your time. So I'm going to go over washing this car because there's a method that I do that turns out really good on it. Um, and I'm going to put links to some of the stuff I use in the description below um, including some which i'm out of it is the uh, spray matte chemical guys uh, spray after you wash it it's a detail and spray i'll put that in the link in the description below um, but let's crank this bad boy up get it outside and then i'll start washing she's alive oh yes she's alive As you can see now it's overcast it looks like it's about to rain because it probably is but she parks in a garage so i'm not really worried about it i'm going to cover i'm going to show you how i wash the car i wash her in sections uh it sounds kind of weird talking to a camera about how to wash a car everybody knows how to wash a car however i wash this one much differently than i wash my truck or my other vehicle um, because there is no gloss clear coat on this vehicle i wash it in sections um, i don't want the water to start drying on the car um, before I get ready to so I start washing the back or the front first um, and then As I wash backwards or forwards depending on which place I start on um, I keep the entire car soaking wet as I go So you'll see me I'm gonna speed the video up here in a second, but you'll see me just wet the back of the car wash the back um, with the chemical guys matte clear um, matte soap um, and then I'll rinse immediately, and then I'll move to the middle of the car. Um, I'm probably on this one. I'm probably going to start on the back of the car and then work towards the front. Um, but as I go, as I rinse the middle of the car after I wash it, I will rinse the entire back again. That is to keep the whole car wet. Um, there's two ways to dry it um, that I've learned is the easiest. One is with a blower or a, uh, yes, that's right, I said a blower, a blower that you, a leaf blower. Um, I've done it that way, um, or you can use like the chamois cloth um, that soaks up water. Um, if you do the chamois cloth, you need to almost, with a water hose in one hand and a cloth in the other, keep the car wet, um, and then all, all the way up until you use the chamois cloth and then dry the car real fast. Um, this keeps the water spots from adhering to the car um, and pretty much ruining your beautiful, clean vehicle. You'll see the little spots of soap all over it. Um, the back of the chemical guys bottle says to wash the rims first um, i've never done that uh, my father taught me to wash the rims last because of the dirt on the cars going down with the water when you rinse off of it so um, you'll see me clean the rims last uh, instead of first so that's just my personal preference you can do that however you want um, but all right here we go i'm gonna speed it up and i'm gonna go all, um, all the way over it i'll stop the car um i mean i'll stop the video um, right before I dry. I'm going to go over 
over some more stuff uh, real quick and then I'm gonna get to drying. Um, you're gonna see me, I'm gonna speed the video up in a second, but you're gonna see me hose the entire car down once once again, right before I get on to drying it with the chamois. Um, I put a, I'm gonna put a link down below for you on the, on the chamois cloth as well as the soap um, that I use for this car. Um, if I can find a link to the paint, I'll put that down there too. Um, let's go over why we do not use a, a regular soap on a satin or matte finish. Um, if you use any soaps with a, any type of polish in it, you'll actually start to buff a uh, shiny part of the paint out. You'll actually start making like rings and shiny spots on the car. Um, if you wanted your car satin or matte, um, you do not want to start putting shiny rings in it. Um, so you have to use soap that is specific for matte or satin finishes. Um, when I was building this car, I had a hard time understanding or finding anything uh, that, sh that showed me on the online the difference between satin and matte. Um, there is one YouTube video I found where a gentleman was explaining the difference between a matte black and a satin. Uh, the best thing I can explain is, is that satin is in between matte and a gloss black. Um, if you look at the back of this car where the Chevelle stripes are, that is gloss black, that is satin in the middle. So this is a paint, this is a vinyl wrap um, that's gloss. So I wanted it to be like a ghost gloss color. Um, but however, the matte kind of looks like your black primers. So I did not want the vehicle to look primered. Um, once this car is dry and in the sun, um, it actually looks as a little bit of a sheen to it because it's a satin paint, not a matte paint. What a water spot is. So if you look, I don't know if I show up on camera, very closely at the top of that, right there. All right, that little water spot, if it were to dry, it put a white spot on the car. Um, so that's why you have to dry it off right after you wash it. I'm gonna use a chamois cloth, looks like this, instead of using a leaf blower. All right, 